welcome Sam, Thew, and Andy to the real-time live stage. <laughs> so you might remember us from last year. Level X makes video games for doctors. Games that take the craziest challenges of medical practice and captures them as video game mechanics. And we run them all on a phone. Last year, we took you all on a tour into the butt and did a bloody colonoscopy on stage, showing off our latest 3D fluid and tissue sim tech. And this year, we're marching rays, and not just rays of visible light. Here is our Cardio X game. It captures the challenges of interventional cardiology as a puzzle racing game. Within the first three months of launching this game on mobile, we've got one in four interventional cardiologists in the country playing this game on their phones. Like interventional cardiology, this game is played entirely under x-ray. But the heart is a muscle, right? So as you can see, you can't really make it out on x-ray. So you've all played Doom 3, right? That infernal mechanic where you either have the flashlight or the gun, but not both at the same time, that's interventional cardiology. So the only way to see where you're going is to inject radio opaque toxic dye into the patient. Now you can see the blood vessels on x-ray. So Two metal guide wires have been shoved into the patient's groin and fed up the femoral artery into the heart. Don't worry, we did that for you already. Your mission, navigate those wires through a live, beating human heart, placing balloons and metal stents and drill bits to restore blood flow to this damaged heart as quickly as possible. What's a metal stent? It's a collapsed metal cage wrapped around a balloon that you inflate to deploy inside a blood vessel to hold it open. Now, this isn't just casting rays to add reflections or a shadow here or there. This game is built entirely on casting different kinds of rays through a range of participating media like x-rays. X-rays are literally volumetric shadows. This isn't a photo, right? That would be reflected light, right? What you're looking at is the shadow cast on the plate from an x-ray emitter. Now, in most games, what we care about is what light gets reflected back into the camera. Here, x-rays are fired from the emitter, and we don't really care what gets reflected back, right? We're firing rays through complex tissues like bone and skin and muscle that all absorb and scatter x-rays differently as they make their way to the sensing plate on the other side of the patient. Now, our render texture floating point values, they're actually measured in electron volts. So instead of tone mapping light in lumens, we're literally tone mapping voltages. And sometimes we tone map them onto this fiery volcano color scheme. And we're level X, so of course we're going to have a badass boss level. And sometimes the boss wins. I think every year we kill one patient on stage. That's the, that's the thing. Um, so if x-rays aren't weird enough, next we're going to trace ultrasonic sound waves. So when, you, when injecting copious amounts of radiopaque chemicals directly into the patient's heart doesn't give you a clear enough picture, cardiologists will literally shove an ultrasound probe along the guide wire into the heart to bombard the blood vessels and the muscles with ultrasound waves to figure out what's up. So maybe this metal stent here is placed badly against the wall of the blood vessel. Have you ever seen sound cast a shadow? Acoustic shadowing, this is a real thing. So this whole game is represented as density from sine distance fields. And then we're ray marching sound waves, penetrating and reflecting through all the different tissues and objects like the stent. Now, ultrasound waves, they break all the rules. You can't even assume that they're all moving at the same speed because sound waves will actually change speed as they move through different materials. The noise pattern you're seeing, that's not actually noise. That's an interference pattern coming from scattering of our traced sound waves. So finally, we're going to go back to marching waves of visible light. And we're level X, so it's going to get a little nasty. Um, so this is Palmex, which we've majorly upgraded since last year with a new and improved mucus system. Welcome to the lungs. 
These boogers are totally interactive. You can suck them up, they stick to objects, they stick to each other. They get so thick that objects can literally hide underneath them. Kids inhale all sorts of crazy things. And sometimes those things break apart, which makes for an extra difficult physics puzzle. This level is called Tiny Toy Tragedy. And of course, we're not going to create an SDF ray marched viscous fluid system with scattering and refraction and not create a medical grade booger gun. So you may have noticed these particular boogers, they don't have any gravity. Why? Well, all right, let's just say that governments and private industry are making a big push to get humans back on the moon and deeper into space and well, that's all I can share for now, but keep an eye out for a major partnership announcement from Level X next week. But seriously, if a little kid inhales a tiny toy and you leave a piece of it in there, hidden in, those, in that mucus, it can cause infection or permanent damage. All these cases that we're showing you, they're really hard and they really happen. And the first time a doctor deals with it, it's going to be on a live human being, unless they play it first in a Level X game. We're Level X, we make games for doctors. Join us, we're hiring. Thank you.